All right, guys, today I wanted to talk about why I don't carry a box cutter. Now, this might be a seemingly repetitive video, or maybe it's not even worth watching, but I felt like making this video because I see so many YouTubers, knife tubers especially, either EDC recommend or just praise box cutters. And I, when I talk about box cutters, I wish I could say like those Milwaukee, like $10 box cutters that you find like at Lowe's and Home Depot and stuff. And uh, the sad truth is I'm actually talking about this like surgency of really high quality box cutters out there. And part of it is like, you, I saw like Surge just released a new box cutter design. And it kind of got me thinking of like, actually there's a lot of high quality, like titanium g10 and just other you know material box cutters that are just really like really high quality and i think of things like the tpt slide i think it is like the titanium tool from big idea designs or something like that uh, i know for sure they make a box cutter themselves and there's just a ton of different Got, uh, companies out there I should say that are making like super high quality box cutters and that got me thinking I'm like why don't I carry these or like why have I never been attracted to them because I even have people in my my personal life who are EDC gearheads like myself and we you know I some of them will pull out like oh you know I have a brass a titanium uh, you know like a box cutter and I'm just like huh that's really neat and you know don't be wrong they're fun to fidget with and play with and I just never got on board with them and so today I thought I would kind of consolidate my reasons as to why I don't use them why I don't have them um, why I don't carry them, why I don't have any, and why I honestly probably won't add any to my collection ever. So the first off, and this one is most important, and I keep grabbing this Manix too, but uh, the, this first one is most important because we're primarily talking about like the more expensive box cutters, like I said, like Surge's design, and some of those like $100 like titanium pocket, uh, like pocket tools that are box cutters primarily. And that is that honestly, most of the time when it comes to a knife something like any of these mentioned uh you know it's going to be cheaper to have or just straight up buy a singular knife like if you buy this hogue deca for instance for 127 bucks and or like you chose to buy the 100 dollar um or you chose to buy the $100 titanium box cutter, that box cutter is actually going to, in the end, if you use it with any frequency, end up being more expensive than something like this Hope Deca, where you know, you're in at an initial cost of $127, but there's no buying extra blades for this, right? And don't get me wrong, it's probably gonna take a while for you to go through $27 worth of blades, but probably actually not as long as you would think. So it's definitely an interesting kind of conversation to have. Like I said, this is primarily more talking about the more expensive box cutters because I realize if you buy a $10 Milwaukee box cutter, you're probably not going to go through, you know, $120 worth of box cutter blades with that in your lifetime. But, you know, if you are buying the more expensive, even Serge's design, and maybe even more so with Serge's design because his, and I might throw a picture here, uh, but his has more of an exposed blade. So every time you're using it as a box cutter, there's actually just more exposed blade which means you're doling more of the knife every with every cut so anyways uh, that's the first point for me is the financial side and kind of even if you will the environmental side because you're throwing away all of those steel box cutter blades every time you replace them all right next one up is going to be and this still even talking about more expensive maybe this will get controversial here but even the more expensive box cutters i feel like just a normal knife has better ergos and better build quality now don't get me wrong the more expensive box cutters are certainly quality like they're more they're higher quality than a ten dollar box cutter but at the same time too that's not a very high bar and especially speaking about more of the like titanium or other metaled um box cutters they just they're simply like a little slide tool or mechanism that you know extends the little like box cutter blade out to an extent 
extent and then retracts it, right? So they're really not going to have very good ergonomics and the build quality, even if it is very high, is still not going to be great. And, and there is actually some designs of box cutters that I have seen that um, either A, the box cutter material, like the material that the box cutter is made out of is something like aluminum, where it is softer than the steel. So the box cutter is actually cutting into the itself. Like every time you extend it or retract it, it's cutting into itself. And or if it's a harder material like titanium, the box cutter handle itself is rubbing against that blade. So do be careful if you do actually have a design, make sure that it isn't like dulling your blades and or that the blades aren't cutting into it because I have seen firsthand some of those box cutter tools that actually, uh, especially ones being made out of aluminum, are actually getting cut by the box cutter itself. And at some point that will render it unsafe. So yeah, do keep that in mind. So that's what I mean about build quality and ergonomics. Uh, there is definitely some validity there in my opinion. So the last one for me, and once again, it's another two-parter, is user-friendliness and better lockup. So what I mean primarily by this, and of course, the, speaking about knives at large, of course, there will always be more and less user-friendly blades. But what I mean is like for that around $100 to $150 knife, something like the Manix 2, something like the Hodeca, something even like the Para 3, the Emerson uh, Horseman or Mini uh, CQC8, is by and large they are more user friendly. This has a very user friendly interface, being that it is an access lock on this Hogue Deca, or you have the compression lock on the Para 3, very user friendly, um, or even you have like the ball lock on the Manix 2, once again, very user friendly, and they all have better lock up. I should also say CQC 8 or Mini or the Horseman, you know, they all have better lockup, right? They're all more user friendly and they just genuinely inspire more confidence in their actual use as a blade. Uh, I've seen a lot of like the button lock Milwaukee things uh, or box cutters where they're kind of, and like I was saying, especially with, uh, especially with designs like Serge's new design, it is a slip joint. And once again, I do realize that like in some legalities and legislations, you know, you can't have a locking blade, but if it is something, and I think for most EDC people, you know, having a locking blade is allowed at least to some extent. So the reality of a locking blade is valuable too, or important, or at least a factor in choice for most of us. So yeah, those are the primary reasons when I sat down and thought about like, why don't I own a a uh, box cutter or box cutter styled blade you know like those are kind of the primary reasons for me and that being said like like I said, you know, uh, I don't think I'll be adding one in the future just because I'm not a really big fan of anything that they offer, especially considering that, uh, in my opinion, just straight up knives do it better. Now, one case, and once again, this isn't a real case for the more expensive box cutters, but one case for box cutters, I will say, is if you are prone to losing knives or if you are in an environment where your knives' edges are prone to get severely damage so say you're cutting lots of things like drywall or other abrasives where even if they aren't like a sheer hard thing like a nail uh, the abrasiveness of the thing that you're cutting will wear through an edge really quickly that is where something like a box cutter blade will be more valuable so i can see and i do give some concession to people who like to have higher end or nicer box cutters uh, because there are some cases or use cases that that will be applicable and so don't get me wrong guys i don't solely think that knives are like the only choice i just think for my lifestyle for my edc and for like my needs and tasks right uh just a traditional knife like any of these or Many of the others that I own are just more applicable, more useful, and fit me better or suit me better. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Always appreciate the feedback and the comments in the comment section below. As always, God bless, and I'm out.